from marauding giants boasting abdominal muscles the size of your biceps, to one of what culture's own proving that it's possible to become a mountain of muscle, bust heads for a living, and even record a few lists along the way. This bunch of wrestling forces know a thing or two about thoroughly changing things up. I'm Gareth from What Culture Wrestling, and here are the 10 most radical wrestler body transformations ever. Number 10, Moose. Acting as perhaps Impact Wrestling's meatiest and most terrifying force occupying the roster at the time of recording. The current reigning Impact Wrestling world champion hasn't always looked like a dude capable of ripping a car in half with his bare hands, whilst grating some cheddar on his stomach. Going from, in the monstrous star's own words, lazy depending on talent alone, to an all-round wrestling god. Moose has come an awful long way in recent times, shedding the pounds with a little help from EC3 and a bodybuilding trainer, as he began to do everything in his power to ascend up the card and prove he was capable of carrying a company. Looking every bit like a typical WWE-esque company poster boy, it wasn't long before fans began to fantasy book the concept of this bulging moose barging down the forbidden door at this year's Royal Rumble. With the thought of this man mountain of muscle butting heads with a tribal Chief, Beast Incarnate, or any other large portion of meat on Vinnie Mac's roster being enough to leave many minds melting the world over. Number 9, Drew McIntyre. In arguably the most notable example of needing some time away from the WWE spotlight in order to really discover what you're capable of, the Drew McIntyre that found himself being unceremoniously let go from the sports entertainment giant in 2014, and the chosen one who ultimately returned to the scene in 2017, were two entirely different animals. During the Scott spell battling it out on various independent shows and the likes of Impact Wrestling too, McIntyre began to focus more on his nutrition on the back of a serious neck injury. When talking to mensfitness.co.uk, McIntyre would state, my wife said to me, you know, I think there's more you could be doing. She suggested working on my physique more, having fewer nights out, and looking into my nutrition. Sure enough, the Scottish psychopath did exactly that, and slowly morphed into the absolute Adonis who currently finds himself himself never too far away from one of WWE's top straps. Number 8, Simon Miller. Wanna know why one of what culture's own has made it onto a list of this ilk? Well, here's why. Referencing being the victim of bullying at a young age, everyone's favorite friendly presenting face, Simon Miller, opted to start picking up some weight as a way of building some confidence going forward. Upon being dragged to a gym by a pal in his teens, one bicep curl later, the future ups and downs titan was hooked. Years down the line, the mighty Miller would gain more clarity and what his diet needed to consist of. And between setting small goals and smashing each of them along the way, it wasn't long before he'd put more of the body crafting pieces into place. Gone too was his long mane of hair and slimmer frame. In their place was a glorious chrome dome and colossal shoulders. Smashing the weights and cardio for the better part of 20 years and being influenced by the likes of Triple H ultimately led to the Herculean physical presence. Fancy before them today, as the title winning bald a-hole continues to overcome injury and juggle the dual life of being both one of what culture's finest and an independent scene darling with apparent ease. Seriously, the man is a freak of nature. Number 7, Michael Cole. For those scoffing at the sight of the voice of WWE taking up a spot on this very list, I demand you to put some damn respect on the name of the stalwart who holds a WrestleMania victory over Jerry Lawler. Going from tipping the scales at 226 pounds with 29.9% body fat, Cole managed to drop down to 169 pounds and 6.5% body fat in just 11 months. In terms of what went into this radical transformation, it was a case of just powering through two to three days of weight training with his PT and cardio a further two to three times a week. A simple alternative diet to the awful one the WWE veteran had at the time also came in handy too. Though the WWE lifestyle clearly makes it tough to keep up this type of strict and disciplined approach to life and training, it's clear that Cole undoubtedly got himself into the best shape of his life for a spell. Number 6, Braun Strowman slash Adam Shear. Marking himself out as a Vince McMahon wet dream from the get-go. The sheer size of the former Wyatt family member Braun Strowman made just about everyone watching the 2015 WWE product sit up in their seats. But though the eventual Universal Champion undoubtedly came equipped with enough weight to flip a damn cab, sort of, Strowman clearly felt he needed to be a better, healthier, more loving person, as he put it himself in a recent Instagram post. After first revealing a more notable 
possibly trim a frame upon destroying the field during WrestleMania 35's Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royale. The hulking figure would take things up a notch throughout the latter stages of 2020 and 2021. Reverting back to his real-life name of Adam Schur, the former WWE man has never looked leaner and more cut, boasting freakish results after implementing intermittent fasting into his lifestyle. Looking as healthy and driven as ever before, it still remains to be seen what the future holds for the Titan when it comes to his career in between the ropes. But dare me shredded! Number 5. Charlotte Flair To class Charlotte Flair as anything other than a genuine athletic specimen, throughout the entirety of her WWE career so far would not be doing the Queen justice in the slightest. But with that being said, it's hard to escape the fact that Flair has looked more ripped than ever since making her long-awaited comeback to Vinnie Mac's empire in December 2020. And while the star's body has drawn odd comments from the likes of Dave Meltzer, to which Flair responded with a solid Dave, go to hell, her prior life as a personal trainer has clearly come in handy, and the star can routinely be spotted getting in the reps alongside partner Andrade El Idolo on Instagram. And her obsession with Olympic lifting after witnessing John Cena in full flow has ultimately paved the way for one of the most carved-up physiques she'll find anywhere in the world of wrestling. She's also a big fan of tacos and cactus, go figure. Number 4. Edge The sight of the former WWE Champion roaring back onto the scene during the 2020 Royal Rumble was enough to leave many glossing over the fact that this one-time stockier world champion had put some serious time and effort into getting into the shape of his goddamn life, possessing almost as many abs as he did title reigns. Focusing heavily on maintaining strong shoulders on the back of two neck surgeries, Edge would also smash through regular abs routines as a warm-up and throw in a chest slash treadmill routine that involves an hour of constant movement, rather him than me. And if you thought this transformation was solely about the reinvention of this WWE Hall of Fame character, then you'd be wrong! As Edge has also noted, what really triggered all of it was just wanting to be healthy for my girls. Ah, oh, what a guy. Number 3. Pete Dunne Every single transformation that makes up this list of massively dedicated folks is impressive in its own right, but the fact that this next body shape-up came about in just six months is enough to inspire even the most pessimistic of folk. Revealing that he went to his self-professed highest to lowest weigh-ins over the course of this period, the Pete Dunne that we saw return at Halloween Havoc 2020 sported a set of guns and all-round cut frame that caught just about everyone off guard. And in terms of a secret or diet plan, Dunn was quick to note that it was basically just a case of train to legit failure, eat in a slight deficit, make sustainable changes for life not just for six weeks. Simple as that really. The bruiser weight would confess on his Instagram story, not being on the road and being able to count calories consistently helps. Some days I eat 500 grams of carbs. I don't agree with restriction outside of total calories. Eat what you enjoy in moderation. Wise, wise words folks. Number 2. Paul White After finally getting his act together and producing a set of abs that still seem otherworldly when placed on a giant of his size, Vince McMahon still had nothing to offer the big show when it came to substantial TV time or even just a match. So it was little surprise to see the former WCW star opt to jump ship to AEW last year in the end. And despite the Rona throwing a spanner in the works when it came to the former giant's training, Paul White is still sitting at a remarkable 410 pounds at the age of 49. The former WWE Champion even came in at around 370 pounds at one point, quite the turnaround from tipping the scales at 500 pounds at his heaviest. When nudged by Chris Van Vliet on exactly what goes into achieving such drastic weight loss, White simply stated, get your diet in order, then make the commitment to get your cardio in and all that stuff. And with White still turning out performances in the land of all elite as of October of last year, he's hoping this long-time superstar can get a few more giant miles in with his slimmer frame going forward. Number one. On Stone Cold Steve Austin. While many are quick to point to the all-round in-ring style and attitude of a certain most popular wrestler in the history of the business being the most notable changes to one Steve Austin, that overlooks the overall physical transformation the bionic redneck went through en route to becoming WWE's undoubted top megastar. After kicking off his WCW career under the stunning Steve Austin moniker and sporting some dashing blonde locks and a bit of a podge, it has to be said, Austin would transition into his ringmaster phase upon landing in WWE post-ECW run. It wouldn't be too 
long before the buff was chopped, and a bald rattlesnake was soon given birth to. But Austin's physique in general would largely improve too, with the former WWE champion still boasting one of the best bods in the business, despite chugging countless cold ones throughout his top run. And if anything, since hanging up his boots, Austin has only gone from strength to strength, clearly not giving up his love of lifting weights and proving that he could still open up a can of whoop ass in 2022. And that's the bottom line, cause well, you know. And that's our list of any other ridiculously radical wrestler body transformations. Let us know all about them in the comment section right down below and do not forget to like, share and click on that subscribe button while you're there. Also be sure to head on over to whatculture.com and find some more incredible articles just like the one this video you are watching is based on. I have been Gareth from What Culture Wrestling. Thank you as always for clicking on this video today and I hope you have the best of days yourself. Bye bye.